Taurus, what's going on? I hope you're well. This is Madame Butterfly and this is going to be um, a love reading for me, but it's timeless, uh, Taurus, so whenever you happen to get it is for, you know, when you were supposed to find it. You're so welcome here. Like, thank you for taking the time to check out the reading. Um, you know, if you find it resonates with you, don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel like doing that. And if you want to book a personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below the video. Right, that's the spiel over. So onto your reading. <laughs> Taurus, there is someone here, um, you're, there's someone from your past coming back, like, to offer you a commitment. Um, yeah, there's gonna be, you're gonna have to decide if you want this person back or not. They are really sorry. They done screwed up and they are so, like, so sorry. <laughs> Um, so you have the Six of Cups here and the Eight of Cups. So this is looking like someone from your past who walked away from you or you walked away from them. You have the Eight of Swords here. You have the Devil and the Five of Pentacles clarifying this Eight of Cups. So looks like someone got left out in the cold here. Either this was your person walked away from you or you walked away from them. Um, you know, whatever fits, like, um, this person or yourself, they had some devil energy going on here. There's some commitment issues with this person, or there was. <laughs> there isn't now, Taurus. Um, or at least that's how they're presenting, right? Because they want a commitment with you. They're going to come in and offer you a commitment. But I feel like this person left you out in the cold before. They may not have been ready for this in the past. Um... They were very, with the Eight of Swords, very stuck in their head about this. Yep, someone got left out in the cold, but they were being ruled by this devil energy at the time. Okay, so, I don't know if maybe they had, they're, they're saying there's no one else in these red cards, okay, but um, maybe at the time they had someone else going on. I don't see that in the cards, okay, I'm just throwing it out there, but there's some kind of, there was a commitment issue with this person, okay, but they're coming back. So you have the Ten of Pentacles and the Three of Wands here. This person is going to come in and offer you a commitment, um, Taurus. And I, you know, you're going to have to think about this, whether this is something that you want, because I feel like this person hurt you very badly in the past. But you're, there's an element here, there is an element of getting on the same page. So I feel like this person is going to come back I mean, this Ten of Pentacles, Taurus, this is commitment, you know what I mean? This is, I feel like this is them now offering you what you wanted before. Um, getting on the same page, you know? I feel like you guys are finally on the same page. But, I, I don't know, there's a decision to be made here. I think you're not sure because there's you have so many decision cards. You have the Two of Cups here and the Two of Pentacles, so... You know, there may have been a time when you thought this person was your soulmate. Maybe they are. They may well be. Um, but you're going to have to make a decision here. Like, this person, I feel strongly this person is going to come in and, like, they're going to say all this stuff to you. Like, because they're really, like, they, they're really, they miss you. Okay, I don't know if they're genuinely, so they, they say they're sorry, okay, but I don't know if, they miss you, they really miss you. They know they've like messed this up, like they know you're the one that they should have been with basically because I, I f it feels like they're going to come in here and make this grand gesture, you know what I mean? And like I said, you may think, you may be thinking of this person as your soulmate or you may have in the past. It's someone that you get along very, like without all this stuff that they did to you, <laughs> you know, the being a, um, being a jerk aside, <laughs> Um, like I think, you know, you guys got on really well. There was like a meeting of the minds here. It could very well be a soulmate that you're dealing with, but they might, they might well come in and give you this chat. Like, oh, you know, I think you're my soulmate. Like, I really miss you. Like, I made such a mistake. Like, you're the one, you know? But there's, again, see, with this Seven of Pentacles and this Ace of Cups, I feel like you're going to have to decide, okay, because... I think, I think this person's going to make it tough for you because I think you still have an attachment to them. Like with the Seven of Pentacles, it's like, but you've spent so much time on this. 
you know, like I put so much work into this, like I know them so well, like, even if it, it could be something like it never really got off the ground but you guys were friends for a long time or like there's been this back and forth for years or something. Um, but it, it's like in the past, because like, I feel like you still have love for this person. But I don't know if, it, if it's that kind of love anymore, you know? And I think there's just an energy here of like, but I spent so much time on this, like, am I really going to walk away? But, you know, they walked away from you, Taurus, so... Um, yeah, there's a decision to be made, God. I don't envy you. You have the Temperance and the Ace of Swords, so there's going to be a period here. They're telling you not to rush into this decision, okay? Because, you know what, if this person comes back and tries to rush you, like, just tell them to get out of here, you know what I mean? Just be like, no, like, don't try and rush me, like, you're the one that left me, like, I need time to decide, you know? With the Temperance card, make sure you're taking time to be balanced, you know, and think about what you want, like, don't try, because I feel like this person might be a bit of a smooth talker, okay? Like, I feel like they're gonna come back in and give you everything you ever wanted with them. You know? But so make sure you're taking time to balance yourself because that's when you're gonna have some kind of mental clarity with that ace of swords. This will become clear. Like it might throw you. I really feel like it might throw you because you have the page of cups at the bottom of the deck, which um I can just get the little guy to focus on so the little girl, I don't know what she is. Um the page of cups here is usually an unexpected message and also, you know, it has the Sorry, he or she has the King of Cups right underneath it, so this could well be like an output, yeah. And also he has the Knight of Wands underneath that, so this could be, oh my god, look at that, the Tower underneath that. This could happen quite fast, Taurus, like I feel like this person might just kind of ride in out of nowhere and make these bold moves and it might... Like it might be fast, it might ha happen quickly, but the Page of Cups can often also be like an outpouring of emotion. See how he's got his little fish in his cup? If I can just get it to focus, see he's got his little fish there. That's the emotions for some reason in the in this deck. Um, excuse me. Yeah, so there might be like a, this, I feel like it's this um, outpouring excuse me I'm gross, uh, outpouring of just like emotions that you were waiting for before that you never got. So it might catch you off guard and then you have two more decision cards here. Okay, you have the judgment card and the two of swords. So you might be a little overwhelmed, like you really, I, I really think it's going to blindside you. Um, you have spying on you at the bottom of this deck, so you know, this person is managing to keep an eye on you somehow, whatever that means for you guys. Like it could be, you know, it could be something as simple as like checking out your Facebook, you know, they could be um, getting tarot readings done on you. I'm assuming it's nothing as heinous as like stalking or anything like that. Because, um, you know, if you're a cross watcher and that's you, don't do that. Don't stalk people, that's not good. But look at this, you have I hate being apart from you. You have I miss you. Um, you have, hold on, I just want to get this other thing that I saw earlier. Yeah, look, you have, I'm sorry. This person knows they've messed up, like, they miss you so much. They're now, they're now seeing marriage and children with you. Taurus, yep, commitment issues, okay. <clears throat> I feel, I don't know if they still have them, I mean, that might be something you want to watch out for, but this person's thinking long term now. You have dealing with my issues. So, you know, maybe they're telling you that they are dealing with these commitment issues. Um, let yourself be loved again. Let me love you again. Yeah, let me love you. <laughs> There's no one else. Okay, so there may have been, I don't know, someone. I don't see it in the cards, to be honest, but it's a quick reading. So, but they're telling you there's no one else now. Um, and you're hot, but you know. Lust is not enough, Taurus, in my opinion. You know, um, just be careful, you know, when they come back in of all this sweet talking, all these sweet words, because actions speak louder than words, right? So, you know, are you going to give this person another chance if it's someone that ghosted you? Like, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there, Taurus. Um, 
you know, I hope you enjoyed your reading. I enjoyed reading for you. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel like doing that. And don't be a stranger. Come back and see me soon, Taurus. Bye.